Hello, Fantastic Beast fans. Many of you may have heard the recent news about Fantastic Beast 2 filming in a cemetery in London. However, one of this vlog's followers has an intriguing theory regarding this choice of location. I'm Susan Chappell with Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beast to bring you the clues. Join me and other Fantastic Beast fans here on the Beast Chaser Forum as we uncover the secrets, discover what's coming first, and play along with Rowling's newest game. Ten days ago, one of this vlog's followers, who goes by Emerald Potter on the Harry Potter forums, contacted me that he'd noticed Fantastic Beast was filming in the historic Highgate Cemetery in London for several weeks. Emerald noted that this is, quote, an extensive shoot which would seem likely for an important film section, end quote. Also, since they are filming in the evening, he believes that this could be a night scene, particularly spooky, and thus may be at the climax of the film. Emerald had a wonderful theory to share about why they were filming in this location. Unfortunately, because of a conflict with my schedule, I was not able to bring his theory to you sooner. Now that the news has hit open fandom, however, Emerald and I have a few more thoughts to add to his original theory. Emerald thinks that Highgate was chosen because the section that they are filming in is famous for its architecture. The Egyptian Avenue and the Circle of Lebanon have what are called catacombs, even though they are technically above ground. Emerald believes this ties with the Nicholas Flamel storyline and may be used to represent the catacombs of Paris. He believes that due to his great age, Flamel may be faking his death as needed and then hiding his philosopher's stone in a crypt. Perhaps, he thinks, this is where Dumbledore got the idea years later to have his elder wand buried with him. Furthermore, Emerald believes that Newt and team, or either Grindelwald and cronies, may be hunting out this crypt in order to protect or acquire the philosopher's stone. Another possibility Emerald is considering is that the grave visited could be Ariana's. He says, quote, I definitely think her death will have a profound impact over these films and be all the more heartbreaking when Dumbledore finds out that Grindelwald is tending to use the Obscurus because I feel he got that idea from Ariana's death, end quote. And playing on themes and settings from Harry Potter, Emerald Potter says, Maybe we could even get a Chamber of Secrets scenario with one of the graves with a hidden location inside one of the tombs. I really like Emerald's theories, especially the idea that a secret may be buried in one of these tombs which both sides are on the hunt for. While I think he has strong theories with the Philosopher's Stone or Ariana idea, I have another possibility I'd like to throw out there as well. In MuggleNet's mention of the cemetery film location, one leaked detail intrigues me a lot. Emma Cosser and her son Jacob visited the site and noticed the addition of a black column by the Egyptian Avenue and the sign Le Provence de Basse Road added above one of the vaults in the Circle of Lebanon. I've done some research on this name and found a couple of exciting possibilities. First, this surname belonged to a mayor of a small town, Wasqual, in northern France, during the 19th century, Charles Francois Marie Le Provost de Basserode. What's intriguing about this man is that not only was he an officer under Napoleon, but he was also a member of the Order of the Phoenix. Yes, really. I never knew there was a real Order of the Phoenix, but there was. The full title was Order of the Phoenix of Hohenlohe whose purpose was to reward deeds of those loyal to the House of Hohenlohe, a German princely dynasty that included medieval knights of the Teutonic Order, German spies in World War II, and the brother-in-law of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. The second connection I found that intrigues me even more is a possible link to the more ancient Knights Templar. On this genealogy site, Pierre Le Provost de Basserode is listed as a Templar. Notice his death in 1310. My French translator, thanks Leah, tells me the cause is burning at the stake in Paris. 
many Knights Templars were burned in 1310 for heresy. The Knights Templar, or poor fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, were a medieval monastic order created to protect pilgrims on their journey to the Holy Land. The Templar part of their name derives from the fact that their headquarters was in a royal palace located on top of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, which was believed to lie above the more ancient Temple of Solomon. The Knights Templars are a huge subject which truly deserves a video of its own, and if more clues come to the service linking them, I will do one in the future. For now, I just want to hit at a couple of possibilities that may link them to Fantastic Beasts and why I think Rowling would possibly draw upon them either directly or indirectly, their treasury and their reputation for harboring secret religious relics. First up, their treasury. The Knights Templar are often labeled by scholars as the first bankers. Because of their network of monks and monasteries across many countries, and that the nobility and commoners alike tended to donate to them, they accumulated a vast amount of resources. They took deposits, managed the accounts for the French king, and collected taxes for the Pope. Unfortunately, this wealth is what led to their downfall, as King Philip IV of France owed them too much money. Instead of paying, he simply rounded them up and killed them off. As we noted with Pierre, many were burned at the stake, just like witches. But supposedly, times being what there were, much of their wealth was not recovered. Rumors have persisted until this day of where their treasures may be hidden in many of the countries they lived. Perhaps we're about to witness a hunt for some of their gold to find its Grindelwald's expansion projects, as I mentioned in a prior video. And as I keep reminding you, we've got a Niffler who adores treasure and loves to dig. Next, let's talk about religious relics. Many of you whippersnappers may be too young to have enjoyed the Indiana Jones movies when they were first released, but for the rest of us old folks, which includes J.K. Rowling's timeline, the idea of Nazis and the search for religious artifacts of incredible power are intrinsically bound. The Knights Templar have been linked to several of these same artifacts because of their location on the holy mount above the Temple of Solomon. Is J.K. Rowling thinking it's time to resurrect the Arthurian crest for the Holy Grail again? Or will we be treated to a take on the wizarding version in the form of the Deathly Hallows, or something new? Personally, I'd find a search for a relic more intriguing than mere gold coins. The relic linked to the Templars that would fascinate me the most, and that has not been overdone like the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant, would be the Copper Scroll. I think an ancient book of this sort would appeal to Hermione's creator as well. The Copper Scroll was first discovered among the Dead Sea Scrolls. Basically, it's a listing of co on copper rather than papyrus of the treasury from the temple at Jerusalem before it was sacked by the Romans in 70 CE. The scroll lists hiding spots and exact amounts of a vast amount of treasure, including gold and silver, temple furnishings, and priestly vestments. Some of the locations have been looked up, but no treasure found. However, it's very hard to pinpoint the locations exactly because whoever created the listings of sites wrote as if the reader would already have knowledge of the location references. What would be so fascinating about the Copper Scroll scenario is that it would be a treasure hunt for a treasure map that would lead to another treasure hunt. Of course, Rowling would not be the first to include a hunt for Templar treasure or relics in her story. Many findings of these lost Templar treasures have been hinted at or reported over the centuries. One of the most famous was at rene le chateau France. Supposedly, a 19th century priest uncovered an ancient treasure there that inspired him to refurbish a, temp a church to Mary Magdalene at great personal expense. This treasure has been linked to the Templars in legend. However, as this legend formed a part of Dan Brown's famous Da Vinci Code, I doubt seriously Rowling would duplicate it exactly, though she might hint at it. In the end, what I think we would get 
would be a wizarding version of a hidden relic based on the Templar legends. For example, let's not forget that Grindelwald started off the beginning of Fantastic Beast 1 at a chateau. Although the chateau was listed in the script book as somewhere in Europe, the definition of a chateau is a large French country house or castle. What was Grindelwald up to at this chateau? Was it his home? Surely not if he were already on the run. Or was he there in search of something else to aid his quest before he headed to New York in search of a rumored obscurial? Are we about to revisit what he may have been in search of before he was distracted? Here are some final thoughts from Animal Potter regarding the possible links to the Templars and the Order of the Phoenix. Quote, Perhaps the Order of the Phoenix in the Wizarding World is much older than what we know of, and it's an ancient Templar Brotherhood who've had members for centuries safeguarding the wizarding community from evil wizards. Perhaps this is the secret organization Newt was accused of spying for on Dumbledore's behalf. Maybe Newt, Flamel, and Grindelwald are all members of the secret society we now know as Order of the Phoenix. End quote. I love these thoughts. Personally, I've always believed Rowling had a hint of Indiana Jones in the Fantastic Beast storyline, as I mentioned in my clue book that I wrote right after the movie was released. I'm really excited to see more hints of this coming out and would love to see some sort of relic quest inspired by the Knights Templar. While it's natural to think that this would be Grindelwald's search for the Deathly Hallows, I think a writer of Rowling's caliber is going to add a surprising element that we would not have suspected. Before we end, did you know that if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, you must not only subscribe, but also click the bell symbol beside the subscribe button. And with Fantastic Beast releasing new information at a fast pace now, I don't want you to miss out on the newest clues. So make sure you ring that bell. What do you think about the filming in Highgate? Do you expect our team to be tunneling into the catacombs of Paris in search of the Philosopher's Stone? Or will they be on the hunt for a different type of magical artifact before Grindelwald can get to it? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts or A Writer's Guide to Harry Potter at Amazon or your local bookseller.